Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss the direction indicator. Sometimes, incorrectly, called the compass, the direction indicator uses a gyroscope to display heading, rather than a magnet pointing to magnetic north. As such, it may be worth watching the video on the gyroscope, available on this channel. This will give an understanding on gyroscope properties and errors, which will be discussed here. As always, we will only be giving the basic detail on the subject. Aircraft are equipped with a standby, magnetic compass, and they come in a variety of styles and shapes. However, whilst they don't need a gyroscope or static and pitot saws to work, they are not as reliable as the direction indicator. Electrical fields from radio equipment can affect the magnets, and it can take some time for a magnetic compass to settle on a heading when the aircraft has been maneuvering. The direction indicator is more reliable for normal operations, but the magnetic compass can be used to reset the direction indicator. More on that later. This is the display of a simple direction indicator. More complex versions, called horizontal situation indicators, HSI, work on a similar basis, which we will briefly look at later. However, let's look at a simple display. On the outside of the instrument is the compass rose. This is self-explanatory. This display will rotate as the aircraft changes heading. In the middle, there is a stationary display of an aircraft, which has a needle pointer at its nose. The needle always points upwards. The red flag indicates either a power failure to the gyroscope motor, or that the gyroscope is not yet up to proper rotational speed. The knob on the bottom left allows the pilot to turn the compass rose to the correct heading after startup, or to make occasional adjustments to correct wander errors in flight. The instrument contains a gyroscope, which is powered by either the suction pump, or an electric motor. The gyroscope is placed vertically, and the frame is free to rotate in the vertical axis. The frame is connected to a series of gears, so that as the frame rotates, the gears turn the compass rows. Note too, that the knob also controls gears that turn the compass rows. The gimbal allows the gyroscope to remain vertical when the aircraft is banking. As described in the gyroscope video, one of the properties of the gyroscope is rigidity which is where the gyroscope tries to remain in the same position in space. When the aircraft rotates, the gyroscope tries to remain pointed in the same position. This, in effect, means that as the aircraft turns, the gyroscope will rotate inside the case, turning the gears, and therefore the compass rose. As described in the gyroscope video, the gyroscope will suffer from wander errors, both real and apparent. The greatest of which is apparent wander. In this example, the wander is caused by the movement of the aircraft, as well as the rotation of the earth. The first example is the aircraft flying in the same position, such as circuits at an airfield. The gyroscope is aligned to north. As the earth rotates, Note that the gyroscope stays pointing in the same direction in space, and because of the earth rotation, no longer points to north after a certain time. The second example is where the aircraft travels, say east to west. As it does so, the gyroscope is no longer pointing to the north pole. Therefore, over a period of time, the direction indicator will wander away from the correct heading. If not corrected, the aircraft could end up flying the wrong track, particularly if the indicator is being used for navigation purposes. For shorter flights, the changes are negligible, but on longer flights this can become an issue. 
As a result, the pilot will, on a regular basis, check the heading against the magnetic compass, and if necessary, readjust the heading with the control knob, using the magnetic compass as a reference. This should be done whilst straight and level, so that the magnetic compass is as accurate as it can be. An upgrade to the direction indicator is the horizontal situation indicator, or HSI for short. The principles of the HSI are exactly the same as the direction indicator, in that a gyroscope drives the compass rose to give a heading. However, there are further additions to it. The first is the heading bug. A desired heading can be set on the compass rose by the heading knob which allows the pilot to have an easy reference to the heading he needs to fly. This can also be linked to an autopilot, where the autopilot will fly the selected heading. The HSI will also contain a course bar, which is used for VOR, or ILS tracking. This will be explained in a later video, but in essence the pilot can track a course to, or from, a VOR beacon or fly the ILS localizer. The control knob is used to set the course direction. The HSI will also display the ILS glide slope information, which will only appear when an ILS frequency is selected, and is in range. However, in essence, it is still a direction indicator. In this video we looked at an aircraft direction indicator, why it is used instead of a magnetic compass, a description of a basic display, how the indicator works using a gyroscope, the errors that can occur and how they are rectified, and a brief look at the HSI. I hope you found it useful. Goodbye.